Uh, let me go back to Dr. Trehan uh, at this stage. Uh, uh, Dr. Trehan, the Prime Minister began by saying that he needs the next few weeks. He wants us to help him and help ourselves over the next few weeks. Why a few weeks? How is that central in the fight this time period against COVID? See, this is the natural history of this particular epidemic or now pandemic, that it starts from one focus and in our country the focus came from foreigners who traveled to India from Italy, from Iran and some other countries, but mainly a lot of it came from Italy and Indians returning from overseas in, from these infected countries. So first we discovered it in those people then in their contacts who were in the immediate uh, exposure like the families or friends like you heard the famous story of somebody who returned from Italy and gave a party yeah. for a birthday party for the child and many people were exposed and all that. So that's how it usually spreads. That's why we call it phase one when it's imported into the location. Phase two when it spreads look in, 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 with the contacts of the people who first started spreading it. And that is the time when you can contain it because if you judiciously track every contact and try to contain them, quarantine them, you may be able to contain it. But then the next phase comes, where, which we are in right now, that whole idea that we have reached a critical mass of people who have gotten infected. Then it multiplies very rapidly because one super spreader, super spreader is the guy who may have very bad pneumonia or something like that that he can spread it like wildfire. So that's why we are at a stage where we must, uh, we may have a window for the next week or two weeks where we can stop this rapid spread. That's why the whole appeal is that every person becomes a corona warrior. We can collectively actually contain it hugely because if, if India suffers the same fate as Italy did or Iran did, you know, we would have mayhem because we have 135 crore people. So that is why the biggest worry is that we will not have the resources to handle it quite. So it's imperative that we stress it again and again. What people have to do, and this, like I said, today's delivery by the Prime Minister will help to drive the point home that we have to behave, that citizens' behavior is paramount their responsibility is paramount in trying to control the future, which can be very devastating sure. if we don't control it now. Okay. So it is stressed again and again, and I think that's what you guys are also doing a great job of keeping the camera and the voices going. The social media is, uh, you know, sometimes spread some irresponsible stuff, and we have to actually appeal to people to filter that out. There's no need to do panic buying. There is no, I mean, we are, this, this is a very clever method of uh, self-blackout, which is fantastic. I think it will help us to get, get the real value of if we ever have to lock ourselves out, then this, is, this will be very valuable in that practice run. Dr. Trader, I'd like to see the air pollution delivered. counts in Delhi over the next couple of days. Maybe, maybe we might actually have a benefit out of this with cleaner air. Uh, but I want to go across to Dr. Dang Most as well. Most definitely. <laughs> oh, it's already happening. It is. It is. Okay. You're, you're quite Excuse right. You're, okay. It's bound Thanks, to be happening. Very much. The, the traffic is so much less. Uh, I want to go across to uh, Dr. Dang yeah. at this stage. Dr. Dang, you must be asked this question several times a day. Where's the cure? What's the answer to that? There's no cure. The cure has already been answered. That cure is only social distancing. Cure is personal hygiene. Cure is management of patients who is unwell. And I'll again emphasize the point that cure is increasing the testing so that we do not reach stage three. And as per the proposal, which was submitted to the government, it will be better if the samples are collected from home. The patients are refrained from coming to the labs. Samples collected from home by trained personnel in proper wild transport media which are transport, transported to the lab, the testing performed and the results delivered as soon as possible so that even if you find a few patients who are suffering or who have contracted the disease, we can isolate them out. The worst case scenario can be that we test lots more than what is required, but so what? 
Okay. But even by testing more, at least we'll be picking up a few. And if those few are quarantined out, we'll prevent it from reaching stage three. My appeal is that let's increase the quality, let's increase the number of testings immediately.